rangefinder camera is all manual. It has no autofocus, no zoom lens, no nothing like that. It's a fixed lens. So if I want to get close to a subject, I can't zoom in on it. I have to get in and become involved with the subject matter. And it, it creates human moments for me. Digital is its own medium. You know, it's really interesting when people make photographs, but they want it to look like film. They want it to look like something else. The best photographers, in my opinion, are the ones that I can see their photograph and I know exactly who took it because they've been able to inject themselves and their perspective into that photo. You have to create a visual frequency. That's what you got to do in photography. You have to have a frequency that's different from everybody else's. For me, the actual sitting and pressing the button and taking the photograph is absolutely the easiest part of what I do. It's the getting there, it's the getting the person there, it's getting the person to feel confident there. I think that's the choice you make as a photographer, is you're going to put yourself and your heart and your emotions and you are going to uh, lay that out because you believe in what you do. So you put yourself at risk because of what you believe in and hope that it makes a difference. And sometimes people don't get photos taken of themselves and sometimes you see the difference that it makes of just giving a photo back to someone. Um, that's the most rewarding thing to me. My goal in all of these situations is be who you are, go through all the stuff you've gone through, be honest in your interactions and try and leave something beautiful. You know, the stuff I'm capturing is in real time and I don't get to stage any of this. If I'm holding the 28 Prime and something's happening 100 yards away, I have to go run over and get right in front of it, which actually I think, you know, is that's my style, but that can then lead to something that you're going to see that otherwise you wouldn't if I was just zooming in from 100 yards away on something. Mystery is actually all around us if we bother to look for it, but we don't. We always look past it or we don't see it because we don't stop long enough to see it. If I had to literally choose one camera to grab and only had one camera to make photographs, it would by far be a lack of camera. The camera doesn't get in my way. Sometimes the camera can get in your way of making the image. What's beautiful is that like, I know how it works. I can still make errors and I can still make mistakes on it, which is also another beautiful uh, part of photography. It's some kind of spark or essence about the human experience that I'm really interested in. It's not a big deal. This stuff isn't necessarily a huge deal. It's just little moments of interaction that, that gets me excited. We all have different things that we need to work on. So I hope you guys take the opportunity to do that today as well. Shoot the things that you're normally drawn to, but try to think about things a little differently as well. There are so many people here who are photographers. I think every one of you has something to offer to one another. What kind of interested me about parkour was how these guys are able to do what they do, how they're able to really control their movement and how they see the urban landscape differently than most others.